Ronaldo to return to Manchester, Barcelona's salary cuts continue, international duty is cancelled and a transfer window wrap brought to you by our friends at cryptocurrency trading platform Bybit. All coming up on today's One Football Daily News. As I'm your host Angelina Kelly, let's get into it. up and could it be that Cristiano Ronaldo is heading back to the Premier League and to Manchester but this time the blue side so according to a report from L'Equipe the player is allegedly orchestrating a return to Manchester but to Manchester City which will be very heavily dependent on if they decide to bow out of the race for Harry Kane so of course there was speculation about Ronaldo's future over the weekend when he did start on the bench for Juventus however the powers that be at the club did kind of die down the speculation and state the fact that it was just a decision that the club and the player had made jointly. However, with this new report coming out, you can definitely say that speculation will rise once again. So according to this report, Ronaldo does not want to see out the final year of his contract in Syria, and his main motivation for moving to Manchester City would be to be with a team that could not only win the Champions League, but would allow him to win some more Ballon d'Ors. As let's face it, when you think about Ronaldo and the salary that he would expect, there's only a couple of clubs that could realistically sign him and now with reports that PSG are currently not interested in the player it seems like Manchester City is one of the only few options left. Allegedly Ronaldo has already spoken to fellow Portuguese players and Manchester City players Bernardo Silva, João Cancelo, Ruben Dias etc about the move and if this does happen it's going to take a lot of work so his agent Jorge Mendes has allegedly been in talks with Manchester City and has even thrown up the idea of a swap deal that could potentially include Bernardo Silva or Aymeric Laporte. Now the situation with this is that Manchester City do not want to pay the 25 million euro fee that Juventus allegedly want. They are comfortable with paying his salary which would be about 31 million euros per season but it's this price with Juventus that is swaying them to not consider it. Of course like I say this is heavily dependent on the Harry Kane situation and if he does end up making the move to City he is still their top priority but if the move doesn't happen allegedly the club will be willing to consider a move for Ronaldo. I'm still not completely convinced that I can see this one happening so I would say Manchester United fans for now do not get too nervous about the potential of seeing Ronaldo playing in Sky Blue. So next up and there have been reports that Barcelona have been negotiating with numerous players regarding salary cuts to try and help their financial situation and it seems like they have finally managed to come to the end of negotiations with quite a few players. The main four players that have been considered are of course the four captains in Gerard Piquet, Sergio Roberto, Sergio Busquets and Jordi Alba. Of course it seemed like Gerard Piquet was the first player to make the move and accept the salary cuts. Then earlier this week it was announced that Jordi Alba also is taking a salary cut and now it seems like more players are joining. So since since PK and Alba are on board, the next player was Sergio Busquets. Now the club this week have allegedly been in talks with his agent. He's willing to take a 25% pay cut and to lose one of the clauses in his contract, although we're not too sure which one that will be. And then there is Sergio Roberto. Now his situation is a little bit more complicated as of course his contract with Barcelona was due to expire next summer. So he will be signing a new contract extension that will have a lower salary throughout. It seems like his representatives could maybe put in a counter offer but it seems like at the moment both the player and the club are happy with the agreement. So this is all good news for Barcelona as they look to try and balance the books and another piece of good news is that Ansu Fati has finally returned to training. The 18 year old was able to join some of his teammates yesterday as he has of course been out for eight months after complications from knee surgery but it finally looks like he will be back within the Barcelona fold and the club are expecting that he will make his official return after the international break in mid-September. So next up, and could it be that international duty has been cancelled for the foreseeable future for players not only in La Liga but in the Premier League? So both leagues have stated in the last 24 hours that they will not be allowing players to depart on international duties to countries that are under Spain and the United Kingdom's red list due to COVID-19. Almost 60 players from 19 different Premier League clubs were set to depart to the likes of Brazil, Argentina, Uruguay, etc. for international duty. But because of the United Kingdom's laws, these players returning would have to isolate in a hotel for 10 days before they could return to their Premier League clubs. And what this would mean is that players would not only miss out on a couple of Premier League games, but also UEFA club competition games and also the third round of the EFL Cup. 
Now, in other sports, there have been situations where athletes have been exempt from isolation, but FIFA have said that they will not be exempting any players. And this is why the Premier League have decided to make this decision. And then later on in the day, La Liga also confirmed that they would be going down the same route. When looking at the Premier League, this means that quite a few Brazilian players will not be able to travel for the World Cup qualifiers. Already, allegedly, Liverpool and Manchester City had already decided that they weren't going to let players travel for that anyway. And in addition, the Egyptian FA have confirmed that Mohamed Salah will not be traveling to play for the national team and he will be staying put in Liverpool. This is definitely a tough one as you can definitely understand why the governing bodies have decided to take this stance and why the La Liga and Premier League are backing this situation. As they don't want players to have to isolate in hotels, it could end up having a massive impact on certain clubs and how they perform in the league if they're missing half of their squad because they've been on international duty. God forbid if they even tested positive for Covid. But then on the other hand, you can understand the players' frustration, allegedly Edison Cavani is not too happy about this decision as of course he does represent Uruguay as they just want to represent their countries and do the best that they possibly can but this is the decision that's been made and we'll have to wait and see how long this will go on for. And now we have the transfer window wrap brought to you by our friends at cryptocurrency trading platform Bybit and first up the major piece of news is Kylian Mbappe and Real Madrid. So Real Madrid have allegedly made a 160 million euro bid for the PSG star. Apparently the bid was made two days ago. Some reports are stating that PSG have already rejected it. Some reports are stating that the club could actually be considering it. And speaking of Real Madrid, their midfielder Federico Valverde has signed a new contract with the club that will keep him there until 2027 and has a 1 billion euro release clause. Sevilla are reportedly set to sign Thomas Delaney from Borussia Dortmund for around 6 million euros on a 4 or 5 year deal. And according to Sky Sports News, Inter Milan are set to hold talks with Andrea Bellotti to try and sign the player from Torino. So that's everything for today's One Football Daily News. As always, check out all the other content that we've got here. And until next time, I will see you all later.